In this video, I'm gonna teach you a little bit about aspect ratio and how to properly change it in DaVinci Resolve. This is important whether you're shooting a film and you want to change it to better tell your story or just out of preference for style, or if you just need to switch to vertical for TikTok and Instagram. Now, aspect ratio refers to the width and the height of your video in pixels. For example, a standard UHD widescreen video is gonna be 3840 pixels wide by 2160 pixels high, making it a 16 by nine aspect ratio. And a standard UHD vertical video is 2160 pixels wide by 3840 pixels high, making it a nine by 16 aspect ratio. Two of the popular film aspect ratios are gonna be 1.85 to one, which is what most movie theaters screen their standard films at, or 2.39 to one, which is this ultra wide aspect ratio, and it's also known as CinemaScope. Or if you want a vintage look, you can shoot in a four by three aspect ratio, which is gonna be a boxier looking ratio than standard 16 by nine widescreen. So now let's hop into DaVinci Resolve. All right, so we have our clips and our timeline in the bottom, as you can tell, and we have a 16 by nine Ultra HD video, which this is pretty standard. And if you wanna zoom in and out of the frame, if you have a mouse, you can just scroll with the little scroll wheel. If you wanna bring it back to the proper size, just press Z. And if you wanna change it, just hold Shift nine, and it's gonna bring up your project settings. And at the very top, you see timeline resolution. If you want to switch to vertical for TikTok or Instagram, all you have to do is toggle on use vertical resolution. And in the bottom right corner, click save. And now, as you can see, you have it in that vertical nine by 16 aspect ratio. But let's say maybe we want to switch to a 2.39 to one cinematic aspect ratio. So then we're going to hold shift nine again, toggle off use vertical resolution, and then click timeline resolution. And you have a bunch of different resolution and aspect ratio options. This is 2.39 to one, but it's gonna be in 2K. In my case, I shot my footage in 4K, but if you did shoot in like 2K, then you can just click that one. I'm gonna scroll down to the 4K version, which is 4096 by 1716 DCI scope. Click that click save. And now we have that ultra wide aspect ratio. But one thing is you're gonna see blank space on the left and the right. And that's because my footage was shot in 16 by nine. So what we'll do, drag to highlight all your clips. And then in this little right section, we're going to scroll down to retime and scaling. Under scale, click project settings and then click fill. And there we go. Now all of our footage is properly scaled for that 2.39 to one aspect ratio. And also with this footage, because I did shoot it in 16 by nine, I have a little bit of extra room on the top and the bottom. So if I want to reframe a little bit on the Y axis in this little right section, I can just adjust it like so. But in this case, zero is perfect. Or if I wanna to switch to that boxy four by three aspect ratio, just hold shift nine again, and then click timeline resolution, scroll all the way to the top, go to custom, and now for processing, the width is gonna be 2880 and then the height is gonna be 2160. Now click save in the bottom right. And there we go, we have that boxy four by three aspect ratio. Now a quick pro tip is that most modern cameras shoot in standard 16 by nine widescreen video. So if you plan on using a different aspect ratio for your project, I recommend two different ways. For films, if you want a cinematic 2.39 to one aspect ratio, for example, I'd recommend going into your camera settings and adding a 2.39 to one guideline. So even though you are shooting in 16 by nine, those little guidelines will give you a better idea of what your final film will look like. So that way you can frame it up properly. And if you plan on shooting vertical content for TikTok or Instagram, I'd recommend just completely shifting your camera vertical. So that way you can utilize your full camera sensor without cropping. Anyways, thank you for watching. I hope this video helped you out. And if you do want to see more tutorials and filmmaking content, be sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.